Welcome to C-Square. Today we, in this video clip we're going to discuss about partitioning a line segment and we're going to see two methods, a graphical method and an algebraic method. Okay folks, so we are going to uh, partition this line segment AB uh, into a ratio 1 to 2. Uh, the coordinates of point A are negative 5, negative 4. The coordinates of point B are 4, 5. Um, and we are going to approach the problem, problem graphically. So we're going to plot the points, connect the points. A is located at negative 5, negative 4. B, 4, comma, 5. Connect the points. Um, next step is to make a right triangle. So here's your uh, right triangle. And we are going to count the vertical uh, spaces. Um, so from um, B all the way down, you have nine. So vertically, you have nine spaces. Uh, We're going to do the same thing for the horizontal spaces. Um, which is nine also. The next step, you are going to divide both the horizontal and the vertical by, um, by the sum of one and two. So you are going to divide nine by three and that gives you three and nine divided by three equals to 3. The reason we divide by 3 is because we are trying to partition the segment in three congruent segments. Um, so starting at point A, you are going to move horizontally 3 to the right and 3 up. So again, um, going back to the problem, sorry, 3 to the three to the right and three up. That takes you to that point. And we're going to do the same process from that point, three over three up and three over three up until you reach point P. Now, the problem is uh, asking you to find the coordinates of the point that partitions the segment into the ratio one to two. So here you go, you have the three segments, the three congruent segments, and starting at point A, you're looking for the coordinates of the point uh, that partition into one to two. And here you go, um, the X coordinate of the P of point P is negative two, the Y coordinate of point P is negative one. Okay, thanks for watching. And now we are going to move on to the algebraic approach. Okay. Uh, by the way, you can practice this uh, problem uh, graphically on uh, geogebra.com. We can put the website uh, also on the YouTube. Um, and you can see new problem always. You can see the point and you can see the graphical way if you want to practice. And now let's take a look to this problem, which is uh, uh, similar to that one. The only problem, if you, by the way, if you want to try to graph, you will see it. You need a lot of graph paper, right? So, and we still have to do a partition, point A, negative 3, negative 1, point B, 7 and 9, part, uh, ratio 2 to 3. So we do have a formula, which I'm going to put it here. The x coordinate of that point, of partition point, will be x1 plus k. And we're going to talk about that k, what that k is, x2 minus x1, okay? So that k is very important to understand. If the ratio is 2 to 3, okay, that means we need to find that point that partitioned the original segment in two, in a um, two small segment. The first one will be two section and the other one three section. Uh, the k will be two fifths. So that is the k we're going to use here and we're going to have x equal now x1 is nothing else than the 
x coordinate of the uh, first point, which is uh, a in our case, because we start from a and go through b, go at b. So that will be this guy, negative 3 plus, now k, as I said, 2 fifths. Now x2 is the, obviously the coordinate of the second point, the point b, this gentleman, 7 minus negative 3, x1 and x2. So here is nothing else than simplifying. So we have negative 3 plus 2 fifths, 7 minus negative 3, that is 10. Here I'll suggest you to simplify. 5 goes in 10 2 times, and we have negative 3 plus 2 times 2, which is 4, that will be positive 1. So the x coordinate of the point P will be 1, and allow me to erase this, and then let's write a point here, the x coordinate. And we're going to do the same process for the y coordinate. So y equal y1 plus k y2 minus y1. And what we have to plug in here, the same like the other problem, the other step, in fact, we have negative 1, right? This is y1, sorry, negative 1. Plus, again, the k, if you remember, was 2 fifths, and y2 will be 9 minus negative 1. So, negative 1 plus 2 fifths, 9 minus negative 1 is 10. Again, simplifying k will be better, in my opinion. 5 goes in 10 two times, and we end up with negative 1 plus 4. And that will be positive 3, I fall. Let's erase this. Okay, so we finish this problem. So now we have two methods, a graphical method and an algebraic method. And also, you can practice this one on uh, GeoGebra. Uh, and you can change the partition by changing these two uh, sliders. In this case, you see it, it's in a ratio one to two. If you enjoyed this uh, video clip, don't forget to click the like button. And we are waiting for you back on C Square for more uh, math tips.